Hi friends, welcome to today's flow. We're actually going to begin today's class lying on our stomach. So when you're ready, come on down to the tummy. You can place your hands one on top of the other, bent at the elbows, and put the forehead on the back of the hands. Let the top of the feet rest on the floor and close off the eyes. We're just starting here so we can really feel that connection with our stomach to the floor, inhaling and exhaling through the belly and using those stomach muscles to inflate and then empty the belly of all the air. As you lie here, start to increase the length of your inhales and exhales, really feeling yourself connect to the body and connect to the breath. As we move throughout our flow today, this vinyasa flow will take us breath to movement. So remember this connection, that is what yoga asana is. The poses are nothing without the breath. Take the right arm out to the side, elbow to a 90 degree angle, and then slowly shift the weight over onto the right shoulder, lifting the tummy off the floor, maybe taking that left foot behind you to support the weight, and feeling that open the front of the right shoulder, breathing into that joint, and then taking it as far as feels good to your body. Slowly roll the weight back onto the stomach, and then take it on the left side, taking left elbow out and then shifting the weight over towards the left, lifting the tummy off the mat and feeling that open the other side. Make any adjustments with your arm that you need to in order to feel that sensation right where your armpit meets your chest. Gently release the twist by rolling back onto the tummy and take your hands palms down about in line to where your face and head are on the mat and then untuck the toes and straighten into the arms to come to a little cobra. Option to keep your elbows on the mat if your back is not quite warm enough to straighten the arms and exhale to bring the head back down to the mat. Inhale to push up through the arms into your cobra and exhale it back down. You can keep this really fluid, moving as fast as your breath, taking it one inhale and exhale at a time. We're really just warming up the tricep, the bicep, and the back. Take one last big inhale, pushing all the way up to your highest cobra, and exhale everything back down. Keeping your tummy down and arms right where they are, tuck the toes under and come to a sphinx position so our elbows are lined up right underneath our shoulders. We're pulling the chest forward, propping ourselves up on our elbows, palms face down. Our inhale will be straightening into the elbows to come to that seal or cobra pose, lowering back down. Exhale, lift the torso off the mat, come to forearm plank and lower back down. The so toes are tucked this whole time. Inhale to straighten out the elbows, using the triceps, lower, exhale, lift up to forearm plank, and lower. Inhale, extend the arms, and lower slowly, exhale, forearm plank, nice and strong, lower down slow. Extend the elbows, and down, exhale to lift the plank, and lower. Inhale once more, lower, exhale to plank, control it down inhale extend the elbows exhale take your plank lower down one last time inhale nice and strong extending the arms exhale take your plank so solid slowly lower everything down to the mat take the head back down to the hands rest the tummy untuck the toes and breathe here When you're ready, make your way up to a kneeling position, sitting on the heels on your mat, nice and tall. Inhale the arms forward all the way up to the sky until the palms meet above the head. Arms are straight. We're going to inhale to push the hands up as high as we can, lifting the shoulders up out of the joint, squeezing the head with the biceps, and then exhale it back down. Moving only the shoulder joint, inhaling to squeeze the head with the biceps, exhale to relax the shoulders down. Inhale up, pushing the hands up as far as you can and exhaling down. Two more times. Inhale, lifting up to touch the shoulders to the ears and then exhale it down away. Last time, inhale it up, 
and exhale it down. Open up the arms wide, cactus the elbows outward, open up the chest, and slowly exhale the hands all the way down to the floor. Inhale to sit up tall. As you exhale, round the arms in front of you like you're hugging a big beach ball. Let the spine curve out and let chin come down to the chest. As you inhale, open up the arms, lifting the bum up off the heels and coming up to kneeling. Inhaling fully as you open up the arms and then exhale to close them off. Hug the beach ball, sit back on the heels. Inhale, come up and open. Exhale, close the arms and come back down, curving out the spine. Undulate through each of these positions. Move the spine naturally. Move with your own breath. Don't let those elbows drop. Keep the arms nice and strong. On your next exhale, stay sitting on the heels, let the arms come down to your sides, and we're gonna take a minute to warm up our wrists before we move into our flow. So interlace the fingers, roll your hands in a sort of figure eight in one direction, and then go back the other direction, warming up the wrists in all different ways, and then come to hands and knees. We're gonna bear our weight, warming up the wrists, have the fingers facing towards the top of the mat, and take your weight forward and back just moving your weight over your hands and then away from it, gently increasing the range of motion there. And then take your fingers pointed out towards the sides of your mat. And we're gonna move our weight side to side from one wrist into the center and over to the other side. Again, just warming up in all different directions so that we don't injure or tire out our wrists too quickly. And then if you need to, interlace the fingers once more, rolling out the wrists as we did before, before coming and meeting me in a downward facing dog. Hands placed at the top of your mat, about shoulder distance apart, feet about hip distance apart, toes tucked and tailbone in the air. When you've found the alignment for downward dog for your body, go ahead and pedal out the feet, alternate bending and straightening the knees, lengthening out through the spine and then pressing the heels into the mat remembering it's okay to keep a bend in the knees if it means we can lengthen out the spine and keep that straight we're going to take three vinyasas or our little return to downward facing dog so inhale to high plank bringing the weight over the wrists shoulders over wrists exhale as you lower through chaturanga always an option to drop the knees inhale upward facing dog and exhale downward dog Again, inhale, high plank, bringing the shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, tuck the elbows in, lower through chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. One more time. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, slowly lower. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale to return to down dog. Now this next time, inhale to your high plank, but instead of chaturanga, just lower the hips down to that upward dog instead of untucking the toes. Staying here as we inhale fully, exhale to turn on the abs, come back to high plank, and fully exhale into your downward facing dog, lifting the hips. Inhale, high plank, lower the hips, upward dog. Keep those toes tucked under so you can come straight back up as you exhale through high plank into downward facing dog one more time inhale high plank slowly lower the hips down towards the floor exhale to turn on the abdominals come through high plank and back to down dog amazing these shoulders are burning already this time as we come forward we're diving our nose towards our hands so we move at an angle like a push-up position towards the hands arch up through your upward facing dog exhale through high plank into downward facing dog diving the nose forward scooping up to upward dog and then pressing back to downward facing dog we're going for eight of these total nice and strong as you lower through inhale up through up dog take the nose as close to the mat as you can slowly lower before scooping up Come through high plank and press to downward dog. Keep going, you're doing amazing. These are so hard, but you are so strong. We're strengthening the shoulders, the back, the biceps, all at the same time, also the core. Slowly lower down towards the floor. Inhale through that up dog. Exhale, blow it out into your down dog. Two more, make these the strongest ones yet. 
push through, scoop all the way up, turn on the core to press it all the way back. Last one, slowly lower, inhale it up, exhale all the way through through your down dog. Very nice, lower down to the knees, Take just a moment to shake out those tired wrists, relax the core and the shoulders, and take a breath before we meet back in Downward Facing Dog. From Down Dog, inhale right leg to three-legged dog all the way up to the sky. As you exhale, bring the knee underneath, stepping that foot in between the hands, helping it forward if you didn't quite make it and inhale to a high lunge, arms come out to a T, so straight out from the shoulders, nice and strong and staying at a 90 degree angle in the front leg. Inhale the arms up to the sky, pressing up like you're pressing against a resistance band and then opening up to a warrior two. Right arm is out front, left hand behind us, arms are strong and straight. Inhale back to that forward facing high lunge, arms come up to the sky and then press down to the T like you're resisting something. Exhale to frame the foot, hands on the mat, step back to your high plank, rock the weight over to the right side, side plank, left arm reaches high up to the sky, keep the hips lifted. Come down to your plank and then plant the knees. We're gonna take three chaturanga push-ups. One, two, and then on the third one, lower all the way down to the floor slowly as you can. Inhale to that high cobra, come via the knees, exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, left leg goes high, three-legged dog, exhaling to bring it underneath the body, bending the knee up tight, step between the hands, and inhale to that high lunge, arms out to a T. Make sure everything is switched on, and then flip the palms and lift the hands up to the sky. Exhaling into your warrior two as you pivot that back foot down and open up the arms to a T once more. Shoulders are stacked over the hips, gaze over the front hand, flip the palms and bring the hands up high to come back to your high lunge facing the top of the mat. Press the arms down to a T like you're resisting somebody who's trying to push your arms up. As you exhale, plant the hands over the foot, step to your high plank, this time shifting into the left arm so right arm can reach up to the sky on this side plank. Strong through the left hand and left foot. Come back to plank, take the knees to the mat, lower one through chaturanga and up two. The third time, lower all the way to the floor slowly as you can. Inhale to that upward dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands. Inhale, high lunge, arms to a T. Press the arms up. Exhale, warrior two, opening to the side. Inhale back to your high lunge, arms come high, press down to your T. Exhale, frame the foot, inhale, high plank. Right hand down, left arm to the sky, side plank. Down to high plank, drop the knees, press down chaturanga, one, two, and lower down all the way on three. Inhale, cobra or up dog, exhale, down dog. On your next inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step between the hands. Inhale, high lunge. Press the arms up to the sky. Exhale into your warrior two. Inhale, back to high lunge. Press the arms down. Exhale, frame the foot. Inhale, high plank. Ground down through the left foot and left hand, side plank. Back to high plank, drop the knees. Chaturanga lowers for one, two, Slow on the third one, all the way to the floor. Inhale, nice and big here. Exhale, down dog. Amazing job. Go ahead and drop the knees. Take a child's pose. Rest the arms by bringing them down to the sides of your legs. Let the forehead rest on the floor. Slowly come up to sit on the heels. Take three big shoulder rolls forward and then down the back to loosen up the shoulder muscles and joints nice and big. Clasp the hands behind the low back. Push that fist into the floor, opening up the front of the chest. 
and then shake everything out. Make your way into dolphin pose, bringing the elbows down to the floor, palms facing down. Hands can come closer together than the elbows and then tuck the toes and take the tailbone high, walking the feet towards the elbows, pressing the head and chest through the shoulders for a nice long line from our tailbone down to our elbows. Knees can stay bent if that helps to be able to have a nice long spine. Inhale to bring the weight forward as you dive your nose towards your hand and then exhale back to dolphin. Inhale, dive the nose forward, exhale back. We're going for eight nose dives. Inhale forward, exhale back. Pushing the weight through the shoulders every time you return to dolphin. Feeling this work, the shoulders, the triceps, and the upper back. Remember, we're moving with our breath. Two more. Exhale to dolphin. Inhale, dive it forward and press it back. Amazing. Take the knees down. Take a child's pose. Rest those shoulders. Those start to burn so, so fast. We're going to come back for another set of eight. You have the option to do the ones we just did, or you can take four with the right leg lifted and four with the left leg. This just places more weight in your upper body for an added challenge. So come back to your dolphin, lift right leg, inhale, bring the nose forward, exhale back to dolphin. And here's number two, press it back, inhale forward three, back to dolphin and four, press it back. Switch legs if you have one lifted, Inhale, bring the weight forward, press it back. Inhale forward, exhale, dolphin. Stay with the breath, we're almost done last time. Bring it forward, press it back, and then bring everything down to the mat. Take your child's pose. You're doing awesome building up this strength and endurance in your upper body. Take a few breaths here. We're going to take our flow one more time through the right and left side. So slowly make your way into downward facing dog. Here we go, make it strong. Inhale, right leg to the sky, three like a dog. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, high lunge. Press the arms up. Exhale to your warrior two, nice and strong. Inhale, back to high lunge, rotate it forward. Place the hands down, frame the foot. High plank. Ground down through right hand, take left arm to the sky, side plank. High plank once more, drop the knees. Here's our presses, one, Chaturanga two, and lower all the way down for the third time. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, come via the knees, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, high lunge. Press the arms up to the sky. Exhale to your warrior two. Gaze over the front hand. Inhale, back to high lunge. Press the arms down, exhale to frame the foot, step back to your high plank. Ground down through left side, reach right arm to the sky, keeps the hips lifted, high plank, drop the knees. Chaturanga one and two, this is your last one, three, make it count, inhale, high cobra, exhale down dog. You did it, we've arrived. We're going to do one mobility exercise while our shoulders are really warm and tired. Come to hands and knees in a tabletop position and plant left hand right in the center of your mat. Reach right arm forward all the way up over the top and back down by your bum, drawing big circles with your hand. Reach forward all the way up and behind. See if you can take it all the way through this range of motion three times going backwards and then coming back down towards the mat. Do the same thing with left arm. Reach it forward, up over the top, and down past your bum. Keeping the gaze down this whole time. We want to push the limits of this mobility when our muscles are warm and our joints are nice and open. When you finish with the left side, come back to sit on the heels. Sitting up as tall as you can, straightening and lengthening the spine. Inhale the arms up to the sky, reaching out wide. Let the hands meet and exhale the cactus, the elbows out wide, opening up the chest, exhaling everything down. Take three more big shoulder rolls forward, up by the ears and back down. Place the palms down on the mat in front of the knees and let the forehead rest between them taking a child's pose and letting everything relax. Take deep inhales and exhales through the nose, letting your breath come back to its natural rhythm and the heart rate decrease. 
Though our arms and upper body, I'm sure, are exhausted, I hope you feel strengthened and empowered. Thank you so much for flying with me today, and I'll see you next time.